and welcome back to my channel or if you are new then hello and welcome I hope you decide to stay quick little apology first of all I know I haven't posted for a couple of weeks I've had um a couple of things that have gone on that I've just not felt in the mood to vlog I'm not going to get into it I am absolutely fine now it's all good I wasn't in a place to vlog really and I didn't want to put out videos that I wasn't 100% happy with so I decided to take a couple of weeks off so I'm sorry but I am back today and I am bringing you a spring and summer clothing haul featuring clothes from Primark and H&M. Primark and H&M are probably my two favourites in terms of actual physical places to go and shop. I have to say they've both been killing it with their spring and summer clothes. I really had to like restrict myself on how much I got because there were so many nice bits. I went to Primark in Boston and I actually have a piece to show you from Primark in Manchester as well and then I went to H&M yesterday in the town that I live in. Yeah I've got a few pieces from each. I obviously will link everything from H&M down below but sadly I can't link the Primark stuff but then I do think that Primark should never be an online shop. I think that should always stay as it is. So let's get into the clothing haul. So let's start with Primark. Bag is a lot bigger than what's in it to be fair. But okay, I'll start with the first thing which I got a few weeks ago in Primark in Manchester. I actually got this last month. You've probably seen it if you watched my most recent vlog. But it is this charcoal grey zip up denim play suit does still have the tag on it because I've not yet worn it not because I don't like it but just because I haven't had anywhere to wear it to yet I kind of pictured this as like a going out outfit with like some heel boots or just some regular heels you could also style it down it is the kind of thing that you can wear casually too I really like this love the color I love the fact that it's denim and it's a play suit I love a good play suit and I think it's so comfortable and flattering I didn't have anything like this I've wanted a denim play suit for a long time and never really found one that I liked but I really like this one and I love the belt on it as well the fact that you can cinch it in next thing that I have I'll show you I got this set of three but I'm actually wearing one the white one so it's this three pack of wireless bras I um can't wear proper bras anymore like this I just find them so uncomfortable I'm so aware of the fact that I've got a bra on when I wear a wired bra whereas with these ones they're so comfortable they're supportive but they don't feel like you're wearing a bra and it's just so much nicer. I don't know how I used to spend every single day of my life in an actual proper bra. Like, it's not the life for me anymore. So I saw this little pack of three it came with this pale blue one, which actually goes with another outfit that I've got to show you. And this really pretty pastel yellow one. I thought they were really cute colours for spring because the good thing about these is you can kind of wear them like underneath things where you can kind of see your bra. Because they're more like crop tops than bras that you can get away with wearing them as like an underneath top if you've got like I don't know a tie up shirt to wear or something like that really cute love those next thing that I got was this cute little floral top it's white and it has little blue flowers on it and it's kind of like got this like rouge detail on it which I really like love the fact that it isn't a strappy top it's got thicker straps did really like the rouge on it I think that looks so flattering such a cute top for spring and summer you could wear this underneath a denim jacket for spring when it's a little bit colder or just straight up on its own for summer with a pair of denim shorts or a denim skirt I feel like you really can't go wrong with a cute little floral top for spring and summer and I was definitely due a new one the next thing that I got that I actually tried on with that top was this pair of beige kind of like cargo style denim shorts I love these I am very fussy when it comes to denim shorts because because of my figure I always just find that denim shorts just ride up so far on me and they end up just being really uncomfortable. These are incredibly stretchy. You can see on the back that they've actually got this kind of stretchy waistband to them which I really appreciate being a curvy girl. I love the front pockets because I don't know I always feel like with side pockets you're kind of in danger of stuff falling out like I never put anything in a side pocket when I'm wearing jeans or shorts because I just always feel like it's going to fall out and I'm not going to notice. Whereas these, you're going to know if something comes out of these. They're also, they're short enough to not feel like proper like three quarter length shorts, but they're also long enough to actually be quite modest and not feel like you're exposing yourself to everyone around you. You'll see in the try on clip, but I just really, I was really pleasantly surprised. When I picked them up, I was like, 
I love the look of them, but I'm not going to like what they look like on me. But I absolutely love these. I think these are going to be my shorts that I live in for the summer. Really, really comfortable. So if you go to Primark and you see these shorts, because they have them in different colours as well. I just really liked the beige pair. If you see these shorts in Primark, pick yourself up a pair. They are literally the comfiest denim shorts ever. And the final items that I got from Primark was a set. I actually tried this set on in brown as well, but I think I preferred the blue. But it's like a linen set. It's the trousers, which have this cute little split down the side there they're just elasticated linen trousers i think these kind of trousers are so so comfortable for really hot climates and they're nice and flowy so they're really cool you don't get too hot in them and then the top that it comes with is kind of like a linen shirt but again really like loose and flowy and it ties up you won't be able to see this properly until the try on clip but it ties up like this so you can kind of wear it like however you want to wear it you can tie it up quite tight or quite loose and that's what I was saying about this bra I could easily wear this underneath that and it not look too exposed I think this would be beautiful for like a really nice summer destination nice summer holiday there's nothing worse in hot weather than wearing really tight clothing and just feeling really restricted and really like hot and bothered I like to wear nice loose cool clothing in hot weather so when I saw this I was like that is cute. Like I said, they had it in other colours. They had it in brown, which I did try on. I think they had it in some other colours as well, but I just really liked the blue. I've always been a fan of blue on me. Like, I've always been told that blue suits me because of my blonde hair and my brown eyes, I guess. But yeah, I've always, whenever I've bought anything blue, I've never been disappointed at the way it looks. So I thought that was the best colour to go for. So that is everything that I got from Primark. I will move on to what I got from H&M. I'll start off with the basics that I got from H&M. I just got a couple of basics. The first one that I got was this cute little beige ribbed racerback top. I absolutely love these kinds of tops. I actually have a couple from Zara. Zara do really good ones, but I do think H&M are just as good as the Zara ones, to be honest. They're just really like so easy to pair with literally anything. Even in like winter, you could wear this as like an underneath top. I love the color of it. I thought a nice neutral, really cute. I love the way that it sits on my figure. I think racer back tops are so flattering on any body type. It's nice ribbed material. It's stretchy. It's not restricting. Literally if, if I could have one of these in every colour, I so would. And they had, again, they had a lot of different colours in H&M of this top. There was a really nice white one with black trim, which I liked, but they didn't have my size. This was a, my second choice and I'm so glad I went for it. Like, these are just so handy, honestly. They're the sort of thing that, like, if you don't know what to wear with a pair of shorts, for example, you can just throw on a nice basic top. Like, I would totally wear this top and these shorts. Like, look how cute that combo is. I just find... I would rather be comfortable and feel good in something than buy something that's maybe a lot more popular and a lot more eye-catching that I'm actually just going to feel horrible in. And this one was only $9.99. I think they're, they're a similar price at Zara, actually. But yeah. Next little basic that I got... Again, they had loads of different colours in this, but I really liked this one. I thought it was a really nice spring colour. $11.99. So it's this little, kind of like a t-shirt bodysuit. Um, and it's like a, kind of like a pale pink colour. It looks quite nude on camera, but I guess it is kind of nude, but it's, it's like a pale pink nude colour. Um, I liked the fact that it was a little t-shirt because... I find that I really don't like the way strappy tops look on me anymore. I don't know whether it's because I don't have that definition here anymore because of the weight that I've put on, but I really just don't like the way they look on me anymore. So I thought this would be a much better choice for me. It's got a nice neckline, again, really stretchy, really comfortable, and also just a classic basic that you can pair with anything. I also feel like this was very like figure hugging. So it kind of like pulled you in a little bit, which I love. Did actually get another bodysuit, which is so cute. I love this. Actually, I've literally just said that I don't like the way strappy top took on me. But this one is an exception. Just because I think of the neckline and the way that the whole thing looked on me, I kind of made an exception. Look at this. So it's this little, it's got little roses on it. It's a bodysuit, again, it's white underneath, it has these little 
button-ups at the front and it's just a strappy top. This one, I feel like I put it on and I think it's something to do with the lines going down here. It looked so good, like it was so flattering. It's kind of like, it's kind of like swimsuit material, but not quite. It's kind of like half and half. I think because it's that kind of material, it proper like pulls you in and makes you feel like a skinny legend. I absolutely loved the little pattern on it. I thought that was so adorable. And this would look so cute with denim shorts or a denim skirt for spring and summer, or even jeans while it's still quite cold in the UK. That was only 11 99 as well. So another really affordable, but classic piece that you're gonna get a lot of wear out of. Next one is this really cute again strappy strappy straps like i've literally just made a big deal out of the fact that i don't like strappy straps and here i am with two strappy strap items what material would you call this it's kind of like you, you can kind of see it there is it a bit like textured is that what you would call it it's like a cream midi dress i would say it's more of a midi dress than a maxi dress it has this cute split at the back um, and I thought this for summer is so cute. It was really flattering on my figure. Um, it's very tight, not not too tight, but it's tight enough to kind of accentuate your curve, kind of show off your figure. But it wasn't the type of dress that was so tight that I felt like I looked hideous in. Again, really comfortable. I saw it. This was, I think this was one of the first things I picked up because I just saw it and was like, I need that dress. This was again, only 16 pound, 15.99 to be precise. So again, really affordable for actually a really nice classic dress. Again, the sort of thing you could dress up or down. I would totally wear this with like flip flops or sandals in the day and heels at night. The color of it as well. I do love to stick to my neutrals. Even in spring and summer, I have to still have a few neutrals because otherwise I do get withdrawal from my neutrals. Then the final item that I got, oh, I saw this, I was like, I need that. I, and I definitely don't need it. Like I do not need any more bags. But this one, I want you to imagine this with that dress that I've just shown you. Oh my God, stop it. How cute is this? A crochet bag, Milano, oh. Is that not the best beach bag you've ever seen in your life? I literally saw this hanging up and I was like, walk away, Megan, walk away. You don't need a bag. You do not need a bag. No, I really do need this bag though. And so do you. This was 18 99 So it was probably the most expensive thing I bought. And I feel like it was so worth it. And I feel like, because I do have a crochet bag, not, not that similar to this, to be honest, but I do have a crochet bag from Primark, but it literally is falling apart. Like I feel like if I put anything heavy in it, it would just break. Whereas this one feels really sturdy, really good quality. I feel like it's the kind of bag that you can wear on your shoulder like that. And you can also just carry it loosely like that. Look, I mean, just look, you, I'm gonna show you in the try on clip anyway, but just look at the combo. I can't cope. Oh, beautiful. Grab yourself this bag right now if you are in need of a new beach bag. So I do now have two empty bags. That is everything that I bought from Primark and H&M. And that is how I have drained my bank account this month. So thank you so much for being here to celebrate the moment with me. As I said, everything that I got from H&M will be linked down below. I hope you all liked it. Let me know what your favourite piece was. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss future videos. I post predominantly cabin crew content, clothing hauls and home and lifestyle vlogs. Those are my three main ones. Make sure you don't lose me and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Have a lovely rest of your day, morning, evening, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this and I shall see you all in my next video.